Ain't no way, bro. Can I not flip this car? Fuck. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm just going to be working on Moonshine today and chilling. I don't think I'll play Cop today. I think we take... Yeah, we just chill do Moonshine and then... Take the day off of Cop. So then I have energy for the rest of the week. Oh, 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 oh. Let's repair the car real quick. I did Frank's. I worked at Frank's since the start of Tsunami. I just didn't stream it. I was with Luciano. I was there for like two hours. Maybe we'll go back, but we need to catch up on our moonshine. We've been doing a lot of Frank's, especially since the war. Yeah, it's really fun. I just need to catch up on my moonshine. I've been neg neglecting it. Yeah, you meet a lot of people. Which is nice. Because usually <laughs> I don't meet that. Well, I do, but not many. Do this moonshine delivery. We want to compare prices. The moonshine is going bad, so I don't know. If I want to get back on doing some G6 as well. Have not done G6 in a while. Have not made money except for my ATMs. Oh, I'm refilling it multiple times a day. I I make sure to wake up and. I will, at the beginning of the tsunami, I have to refill it too, but it's good. It's a good investment. I knew Grapeseed was going to pay off. I got them, I got those ATMs before farming even came. Okay, I want to compare course and below average. I can only put 50k. I wish I could put like 150k so then it would be less time. You're still awake. 
Yeah, I was just calling you that I'm gonna go to bed now. I was oh, just staying uh, up to talk. Were you oh, still working? I thought, or? No, I left. I thought you went to bed. Oh, uh, no, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. no, I just wanted to catch up with you, see how you were doing. I'm doing horrible. Why? It's a mess. I'm I'm gonna die alone, Leah. What do you mean? <laughs> Last time I heard you were still like not over Devon. What's going on? I'm so sad. Why? Uh, what happened? Talk to me. Uh, I'm just, you're never gonna find somebody. What happened with Devon? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's the problem, because I wanted something to happen, but nothing is happening. Oh no. Uh, he's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, he's not. But I'm gonna die alone. Yes. No, you're just going after the wrong per- like, why would you go for Devon? I don't know, because he was hot, I guess. No, if you want a relationship, you can't think he with your pussy. He with me, it was kind of nice, but- He flirts with I, everyone, he flirts with I everyone. I my pussy because I, like, need it <laughs> filled up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just a girl. Yeah. <sighs> and I don't know. She's crazy. It's a whole mess. Now, uh, this uh, Anakin is trying to set me off with people, but he's like saying absolutely awful names. He's like, oh, what about Kyle Pred or Bobby Charles or, or Eugene? And yeah, I'm, I'm like, telling you, you, him you? trying to hook up with Luciana was a really bad shout. That was awful. That was absolutely awful. He just got so divorced like two days ago. <laughs> I know. I told him. I was like, because I didn't even know that. Like, he was like, well, what about my dad? And then when he said Luciano, I was like, what the fuck? And didn't he just get a divorce? And he was like, I don't know. Let's go see. And I was like, oh, no. This is bad. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, and Luciano saw me getting jealous over Devon one time, too. Bruh. So, you know, that was really just embarrassing all around. Yeah, I mean, if you did meet a nice guy, would you even like him? Huh? If there was a nice guy and he wanted you, would you even like him, though? I mean, I want a bad boy, but like, <laughs> I like, okay, have fun. I am going to go to sleep here soon, so, okay. Okay. Yes, yes, have fun hunting. Um, I yeah, know I somebody. Uh, who? I want, I, okay, listen, I want a criminal. Okay, like I can't <laughs> date a, a person who's a good, good boy. Like I can, I'm sorry. But like, I need somebody to be ready to <laughs> help me if I need help. You know what I mean? What about, do you know Donnie? No. What was the name? Donnie. Donnie. Okay, I'll be I'll be kind of honest. I think he used to or does kind of like me, but <gasps> I don't date, so oh I can pass him on to you. No, no, no. no please take him. No, 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 I don't want him. Why? <laughs> no, he's 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 actually. Said, please take him. No, you know why? Because I work with him. That's the only reason I. We work like, at, the, at the shop together. We we yeah we work like a lot of we do different things together. We do moonshine together and everything. I just I I don't want to date anyone that I work with. You know, that's why. Yeah, I honestly think it's a really bad idea, isn't it? What? I think it's a really bad idea, isn't it? Like, yeah. Because then if you break up, it's gonna be awkward. As yeah, well. that's why I avoid that. Uh, I don't but know. he's. Um, maybe I shouldn't have told her that, that he liked me. That's kind of flop. But he's, like, honestly, I don't think he, he even likes me. We're just, I, I might be delusional. But, like. No. No, no, no. But, like, I think, I think, I think you two be good. He's a criminal. 
Um, he's really good at like I think he's like the second person assistant in the city to do moonshine really. Well. He's a really good driver. And I fucked up okay. telling her that. <laughs> Johnny and George are trying to also like see if they know anybody, but honestly, I'm like ready to give up. No, uh, don't, don't give up. Uh, Why is it when you don't want somebody, then you find somebody, and then when you want somebody, you're not gonna find somebody? You know? Like, I don't I know. I just need to stop wanting, and then I'll actually meet somebody. Ugh. I mean, listen, I don't know. I feel like men is, like, the easiest thing to get. And somehow, I haven't gotten one in six months. What the hell is going on? You're wasting your time with Devon. First, you wasted your time with Zero. I know. What the hell then you that? wasted your time with Devon. <laughs> so. I know. What the hell was that? He's still hot. Can you tell me who you liked? No. What? <laughs> Please. No. Why? Because it doesn't matter. Nothing. Like, I don't like that person anymore. It's fine. Like, no. I've liked people too that I don't like anymore. Why don't you go back to Santana? I will fucking rather die. I think he has a actually. girlfriend. Thank God. I he can't even buy food when he's working at Frank's because it's so awkward. Okay, what about Clark? Flash. I don't know who that is. Oh wait, I do. He's wait, like a do he's I? like a good guy, like a good good guy. You know what I mean? I think I like legitimately. I think he's probably the better out I of. Think he... I don't know. I don't know him that well, but he just seems like Somebody a good guy. Somebody once asked me, and I think it was him, but I'm not a hundred percent sure because like. Me and Devon were driving one time and we cra we found somebody that had crashed their bike and I think it was him and then I took him to the hospital while Devon stayed back to watch the bike. And then he was like, so you're in love with Devon, right? And I think See, it was this is him. You. Devon fucked your game up hard, bro. He did! What the <laughs> hell? That's your oh fault, though. That's your fault. No one told I you to like it. him. I deny it. I it. You denied it, and then you publicly get jealous. It was a weak moment, okay? He was like... Well, actually, he wasn't really doing anything. But, like, another girl was kind of flirting with him right in front of me, and I was just like, oh! And he just, like, ran away. And then somebody ran after me, and I think it might have been that guy as well. <laughs> After me. Oh, then that means he's a good guy. Wait, which one ran after you? Uh, Flash? Wait, is his name Flash? Oh, I see, I told you. I got the vibe from him that he's like the nice type of but, guy. But like, they've seen this this clown behavior from me. Uh, it's okay. They're all clowns anyways. Everybody in the city is a clown. Who cares? Oh, God. By the way, did you see the new paywall drop? It's so cute. Uh, I saw it yesterday, but it was a couple of things. I like the corset. I know, it's so cute. I don't think there was really much, but that was cute. There was like a big paywall is nice, but then sometimes paywall is whack. Too. I know, there was like fucking like, like sometimes, like, a lot of the clothes are like a 40 year old lawyer or some shit. I'm like, bro, know, like, <laughs> where's the bad these? bitch clothing? All right. But the skirt was also kind of cute, the pleated skirt. Mm-hmm. But yeah, anyway, I don't know. Uh, they've, they've, they've seen maybe too much, and then they're like, what the fuck is this bitch, like, moving on from guy to guy now? I mean, you didn't... <laughs> like, yeah, it's so funny that, like, so long. you're known as uh -huh. Devon's girl, even though you were never Devon's girl. Right? Oh my god, and then like, okay, like you remember when we were talking about it with Stelio? Yeah, and then Stelio told him you love him. Yeah, and then 
Devon was like, he was like, you didn't really say that, right? And I was like, no, I didn't say that. Because, like, I mean, I didn't say that, but then he sounded so relieved, like, you know, like, thank God, she, that would have been crazy if she said that. You know? Bro, Diva, like, <laughs> Diva has I bad know. game. <laughs> she does, she does not have a good game. So that kind of sucked. Yeah. But I mean, I, I was in love with him, like, we were flirting and all that, but I don't want to fall in love with somebody who's going to break my heart. He's just not going to commit, you know? That's it. Like, he's, he just... Exactly. Ah, oh my god. This is a mess. Oh. Also, I'm so scared to talk to Lang and tell him how much the furniture is I think cost. he knows because yesterday we talked to Wyatt. Oh, no. It's going to cost, like, 400k. Plus my permission of 100k. So it's like kind of cost like a half a million dollars. Yeah, I don't know if they can afford that, to be honest. I mean, they can probably, but. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know that's what? like, like the warehouse almost so much money. <laughs> I know, but like there's 16 rooms in there. Just make 16 different people pay, like, th for their room, right? That's not gonna be that much. Subpar stream. I don't know, but I can't like start bringing in the furniture before I tell him because we can't make the furniture if we don't have money to buy the materials. I don't know. I kind of see where they put the desk and everything too because like I already decorated it and they didn't tell me that they were going to bring stuff in there so I didn't leave space for anything. So now there's just going to be like a random ugly ass desk somewhere. Could have yeah, I mean, wanted Donnie to wanted to put shit in there. In there and he was very insistent on doing it. I, 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 I wanted him not to put it in a room because I knew the rooms were packed with shit, but he wanted to put it in a room. And I'm just like, okay, so I just put it there, but you can just move it, you know? Yeah, I just like, I don't know where to put it because I didn't leave room for any extra stuff because I didn't know that they wanted that. Because yeah. literally, what Lang said was like, I want storage in the rooms for like people, not like, I want a bench in there, I want a computer, like, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I fit it in one of the rooms that, that like, it's going to be a tight squeeze, but I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's like a couple of rooms that are really big, so maybe I'll just. Bye, Jar Jar. Hi, but Jar Jar. Like, because people are just gonna like... Hi, Vega. It's like people's rooms, so they can't have like a communal bench in one person's room either. Like, do I have to put it in the office? I don't fucking know. Not the office, because I don't think the Lang will use it, you know? Yeah, maybe I'll just put it in the lobby or something. <laughs> it's gonna be so ugly, but whatever. Just by the doorway. <laughs> There's nothing by the door, I don't think. By the way, can you paint the walls? Because they're, like, really white. What color? Uh, maybe, like, some kind of gray. Whatever it looks, like, decent. Not like I need you to give me input. Let's go. Where are you? Um, I'm at the warehouse. Like, the, the lumber co warehouse. I don't have a car. Yeah, I'll come pick you up while I'm in the surge. Hold on, I'm just going to put money in the tr trap layer. Devon should have a lot of money, too, because he's been selling a lot of butt coin. Nice. Yeah, I have some money as well. I have... 100 and... 180k right now. And if I get paid 100k for the... You'll have, like, almost 300k. Yeah, so I have a lot of money to put down if stuff get, pops open in Cyprus. I'm trying to fucking sell these houses, like Eden, but it's not selling. Yeah, I don't know. Just, I feel like a lot of new properties have opened up, so people have, like, bought properties, so they don't... No one wants anymore. Fudge Lane, bro? That's, like, the only Fudge Lane house. Yeah. We also have a Grove house that we gotta sell, but we can't sell it before we pay off everything to win song i think it's in the contract or something so i'm afraid that by the time we can start selling it nobody wants to buy a house on grove street anymore 
because so many new properties are gonna open up that they don't want to live on fucking Grove Street. Like, I don't know. What what a waste, bro. <laughs> the money is going bad. <sighs> Someone will buy it eventually. I just put it up there. Yeah. Hopefully they give us enough time before they sell a Cypress property. Is it uh is it completely empty by the way? The Yeah, yeah, completely. I emptied the, the hell out of it. Okay, good, good. Just so we don't lose any furniture in there. True. But there is a new like uh turf thing, you know? So Fudge Lane is a turf now. Oh. So maybe people will start buying houses. I don't know if Grove is okay. a turf though. I think it is. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah, by with the way, the Lumber Co. got approved as an official business. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, we have a bank account now. Random man walking in the desert. But I think the shit is like a little fucked up. Like <laughs> why it can't actually hire anybody in there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, somebody's selling a warehouse right next to the 24-7 right here for 1.3 mil and they bought it for like 500k. Right? Oh. Just wait until warehouses open up and buy one yourself. Right, and it's like half the size of of our warehouse and it's like more money than what we paid for this. I think <laughs> people are like reselling it like this. It's Eve's right. warehouse and she used it for gardening. I remember I saw it inside of it. Uh -huh. Anybody's gonna buy it with that much? It's kind of crazy. You know what? You should open a f food booth. They they make so much money. Yeah. A lot. I think more than lumber company money because Jeez. because I they don't it's have. to get one. The, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to keep one, but like, um, there's no expenses, right? You pay f you pay like fruits and vegetables, but then those are just seeds. And then um, you can buy meat and stuff from the market, but it's really, really cheap. So it's all profit. Nice. People are making millions as off of it. Sheesh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's going to be too hard to yeah, get it and make Someone it bought that cute store on Too Much. <gasps> Mom's pie? Yeah, yeah, it is expensive. Yeah, someone bought it. Oh it's so God. cute. I know. I wanted it, even though it's like in, so far away. I would never go there, <laughs> but like it's so cute. I want to start a villain and unicorn scary. business kind of thing, since you have your that office be, there. Right, and imagine if like more properties like right there on that building or like the oh right I got a text right next to it would open. That would be kind of cool to own like everything around it and then own the BU as uh, well. Let me call you back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Who texted me? real hello hey call lang call lang okay okay well i tried calling lang what's going on am i in trouble no i'm so sorry i'm so sorry hey what's up leah uh chilling uh, sorry, uh, Rush was on my ear. What'd you say? Nothing. I'm just uh, driving back to the city right now. Were you returning my phone call or did you call me about something? I'm returning a phone call because Luciano told me to call you. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, grab twenty-five thousand dollars and give me a ping. Um, one three three. Grab twenty-five grand and head over here, okay? Okay, I'm coming. All right, see you soon. Bye. Hello. I'm gonna have to do a rain check. I have to meet up with Lang. I don't know what's going on, but oh, okay. he needs money from me, so I have to go give him money. Um, but if you're gonna go to bed, I, I, just, I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see you. Aww. How long do you think it's gonna take? I don't know. Just. I don't want you to wait so long just to paint the wall, you know? Yeah, listen, just do like one of the gray shades, like a mid gray, not super dark, but not like light gray either. <laughs> I have no sense of style. Listen, listen. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let me actually, okay, let me. I'm gonna go into the office and I'm gonna look at the different shades and I'm gonna. Tell no, you, you need to see one. it at the. Per in okay, listen. I'll do a gray, but then the next time I see you, we switch the gray again, okay? Wait, I'm gonna go check and I'll give you <gasps> a gray. I forgot to mark. Okay? Yeah. He pinged me and I forgot to mark it. I'm so oh. nervous. <laughs> ah, I gotta go home with you. Bye. Okay, text bye. me, text me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm fucking up. Uh, I'm fucking up. I think he... Why he want money, though? Isn't he rich? $25. 25k? Maybe, like, um... They need, like, people to put in money for the furniture. Because, like, the furniture costs a lot of money. I pay bills and I paid for them, but maybe it costs too much. It costs a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what he wants. Whatever. Brent Glizzies. <laughs> I don't think it's anything bad. He doesn't seem mad at me. I'm fine. I'm not worried. Do I have 25k on me? I do. Okay, let's go. It's fine. I don't know what the 25k is for though, but let's not be late. <laughs> let's not show up late. Uh Oh, am I at 500 viewers? I have my viewership turned off. I don't see my viewers. <laughs> okay. Hello. Why are you guys saying 07? Don't meta! 
Don't matter. I what did I do that was wrong? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? <laughs> I just been working. It's cuz they it's cuz of the moonshine, isn't it? I've been slacking on the moonshine. I was holding down Franks, that's why I couldn't focus on moonshine. Alright guys, RIP. If it ends, it ends. Let's um... Let me turn off my fan. Hold on. Who fires you? and then tells you to give you them $25,000. You guys are trolling. Doesn't make sense. And I own the warehouse. Nice try, guys. I didn't fall for it. <laughs> Have I met Lang? Yeah, that's true. Uh, where are they? Oh, why are they standing like that? This is so scary. Oh my god, uh, I I am getting fired, huh? I couldn't even get down there. Let me drive around. Oh my god, they're all just standing there. No, no, if I jump, I get hurt. I die. Should I jump? What if I die here? Nah, y'all are crazy. If I jump, I die. Other side? I might as well die. If I die here, this is such a fail. Just don't even talk to me. Just just ghost me at this point. I think this is enough room. I don't think I'll die here. What? We didn't even get hurt. Oh my god. I'm so... Why are they standing like that? Am I going to get ocean dumped? Okay, I'm ignoring chat now. My heart is racing. <gasps> this is so scary. Hello? Leo, welcome. Doing? Come closer. Come closer. I can't hear you. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Okay, well, uh, why do you sound nervous? We're not going to kill you. Don't worry about it. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Listen, um, we spoke weeks ago, right? Jack Kettleman, useless fucking leader, bald as fuck, <laughs> ugly as shit, dead. <laughs> Left you, Devon, Wyatt, Diva in the mud, right? Yeah. I shot you a text and I said, listen, uh, you know, if this guy, were, you know, Abandons uh, the shit you guys going on. Give me a text, shoot me a call, and we can work something out. Yep. Uh, weeks go by. Uh, you know, you call. We decide, let's see what you got. Let's try to integrate you into uh, what we got cooking over here and, and see how you're doing. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, you did wonderful. It was great. Uh, the farming shit you were popping off with. Uh, you know, you help us fucking run Franks. Uh, you don't have a fucking attitude. Uh, you work hard. You put your fucking head down and you just fucking work. Uh, this, these are qualities that we fucking look for and anybody that works for us, you know, to become a part of uh, something bigger that we're going on here. Obviously, you know about the crew. You, you know, you've, you've met Harry. You've met Arush. You've met Luciano. Uh, you know, these are the guys that fucking run this shit alongside me. Uh, our goal here is to essentially make Cyprus, you know, our home. 
abundant with fucking business, riches, you know, fill our pockets. Uh, with that comes a lot of fucking work, and uh, we look for people who are capable of doing that. Uh, just so happens you're one of those fucking people. We want you involved. <gasps> uh, the reason I told you to bring the 25 grand is it's a little ritual we, you know, we essentially do here where we ask you to buy into this crew. And with that $25,000, it uh, you know signifies that you are in, <gasps> you are ready, you want to be involved as much as possible. And uh, you know, you're ready to fucking work even harder. Yay! I'm so excited! I'm so happy! Woohoo! Thanks, guys! This uh, ain't no school. Something to note here, exactly. That's 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 a good point, Arush. This ain't no school, all right, Leah? I know, I know. This is something, uh, something beyond comprehension. This is an organization of tremendous power. With power comes respect. And you, you went from the B-Leagues to the A-Leagues. You need to understand that. Should you accept, and should you hand that money over, should you buy yourself into this crew, there is no, no point of return whatsoever. You cannot turn back. Regardless of whoever comes back from a, from a, from your previous life, if Jack Kettleman comes around, you have you are you have nothing to do with him. We are your crew. <laughs> you understand? One hundred percent. All right. Then whenever you're ready, just go ahead and head over the uh, hand over the cash to Luciano. And, uh, yeah. you know, our favorite part of this, uh, ritual, uh, Leah, go ahead and jump into the Cypress, uh, infested shit waters and rise a brand new woman for Cypress. You're going to live and breathe for Cypress and nothing okay. else. And you're going to hold your breath till we tell you otherwise. <laughs> okay. You hold it. I'm holding my... We told you this ain't no school. You understand that? Yes, I understand. You understand this ain't no school, right? Yes. <laughs> It's not, it's not ashes, but yeah, rise from the water. There you go. Now you smell like shit. You look like shit, but you are new. All right, you are four Cypress from now until fucking forever. Yes, for sure. All right, now you probably right. should go get take a shower and uh, you know maybe get some new clothes because you smell like shit. Okay. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. Um. Thank you. I appreciate everything you've done for me, Lang, and everybody else since I've been working with you guys. Well, this is only the beginning, all right? We expect you to work harder. We're going to do a lot more great things together, hopefully. Assuming yes, for well. sure. For sure. All right. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to take a shower. All right. Bye. <gasps> oh, my God, guys. We're in the crew. Yay. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> this ain't school, guys. This is Cyprus. Oh my god, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Oh, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. I'm so happy. How the fuck do I get out of here? This is so awkward. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Oh my god, that's so crazy. My heart was racing. They were standing there like... <gasps> I'm so happy I'm in this crew. Oh my god, you guys! You're subscribing! I can't keep up with the subs! I just have to say thank you. I just have to say thank you. Yeah, I need to fix my stream now. Whatever this is. Now we just have to work harder. <laughs> oh my god you guys thank you for the subs oh my god you guys are, I love it thank you thank you <laughs> yeah fix all the things I'm postponing this is monumental guys Cyprus Cyprus until we die
Yeah, we work hard. Now we just got to keep working harder, right? We need to get more Cypress properties, more everything. <gasps> oh my god, thanks guys. Thank you for this. I'm so happy. Oh gosh, honestly, like... <laughs> I don't know how to react. I'm just happy. Like, uh, you guys, thank you so much for the follows. I'm so sorry I can't say shout out every follow and for every subscriber, but it's just a lot to keep up with. I'm so happy. And um, Lang has treated Leah so good. Like from the like, this from the first time I met him like it's like beyond good how he's treated Leah <laughs> the awful lumber union there's no more lumber union it's all about Cyprus now this is my crew yes I'll publish it I'll publish the VOD. <laughs> yeah. Leah's very shy. I mean, it's very intimidating. Um. You have, like, all the... So, I guess... Those four are the leaders, right? It's not just like laying a leader. Okay. It's true. We've been like we've been working like when we were with Kettleman Gang, we were working closely with them for a long time since like we were in the lumber yard and I was on their app. For the longest time. Probably on their app five, six months. Yeah, I'm so nervous. Oh my god, yes. When Harry went off on me about the growing. <sighs> so it's called whatever this is or old boys. Thank you for the sub! For the gifted sub, Celastics. Yeah, Leah is gonna be doing drugs. Not doing drugs, but selling drugs. When, you know, only there's only moonshine and weed right now, so. But when more stuff comes out, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, my, my old crew didn't have a name either, so. Let's just turn around. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> uh, fuck. Is Diva still awake? I have to tell her to change. The Thank you for the sub. Zoldy cake. I think I, I cheered a little too much though. Um, I was just so happy. Third gray on the second row. Let's fix it. Oh, Changing kidnapped somebody. Oh, it broke Buddha. Okay. <laughs> Sweetie was like, this is not school! Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, my, my alerts are probably going to go off now. I hope they don't go off. Thanks for the sub, but I hope my alerts don't go off for every single sub. I'm going to have to turn them off or something. You said the third gray. Let's change it to the third gray. Guys, now that I'm part of the crew, I get a room, right? This is the gray she wants. I want room number seven because it's a girly room. Look. I don't know if I'll get it, but this is the room I want. See, it's like, I mean, it's kind of ratchet, but the whole place is kind of ratchet. But it's a little bit girly. I could share it with somebody. Room seven. That's one I like. <laughs> room one? Do you know room one is so shit? It's so shit. Look at it. It's actually ew. Whoever gets this room <laughs> is so shit. Ew. I think the other room is even nastier. This one. Look at this bed. Room two. I think room two is the worst room. It probably be like two, three people in a room. Yeah, this is like the illegal hidden kind of low key warehouse where people can put like their guns and their drugs and all the illegal shit. Uh, let me let me publish the vod right now. Let me publish the vod. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I usually play music, so my VODs get unpublished. Let me publish this one. Perfect. It should be up soon. There. It should be up in, like, now or soon. <sighs> okay. Should we go to Frank's now? Like... I'm not in the mood for I'm not in the mood for moonshine and grinding right now. I'm just hype right now. Let's go to Frank's for a little bit. I like how you spelled Leah. I don't know if I'll be good at heist. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Oh. I don't know if I'm good at hacking. I've never tried it. I know I'm not a driver. I think I'll try it like when. Like, I'll start with a, la a laundromat or something. I'm still legal. Like, I'm still, um, clean. So I try to just stay low-key and make drugs and then put a clean front. Thank you, RZ.
I mean, I don't think Leah is gonna stay clean for long, but because <laughs> of the stuff she gets into, but we're gonna keep her clean as long as we can. But I think that, um, um, it'll be good RP when the warehouse, if the warehouse gets raided. We just gotta make it like really good RP, like, uh, like her life is over. She'll be from like one of the cleanest people to one of the dirtiest people. Yeah, if anyone has PD equipment, we're fucked. <laughs> How's everything going for yourself? Oh, someone's working at the Glizzy place. Oh, I do love a good Kiwi, mate. Hi, Frank. Oh, hello, Leah. How you doing, mate? I'm great. How are you? Oh, fantastic. Oh, All the fuck. better for seeing you. How was the rest of your day yesterday? Thank you, Dr. Cheese. I'm sorry? I said, how was the rest of your day yesterday? Was everything all right? Uh, yesterday, yeah. It was kind of like a low-key day, to be honest. I think I went to bed pretty early yesterday and probably today, too. Oh, okay, so oh, well, I hope you're feeling all right. You're coming down with something. Are you getting sick, Leah? I uh, know. I just need day I need to schedule days off. I'm not good at having days off. Yeah, I understand that. To be honest, ever since I started working here, I've just I've just been here relent relentlessly. I think. I think I offered a job yesterday while I was working here yesterday, down there. Yeah. Yeah, I got offered to be a sexy taxi driver. I don't know what that means. I mean, do you think you can? You're cut out for that. Honestly, I've got no idea. I did tell the woman that I would think about it. There's something about me being a femboy or something, but I've got no idea really what's going on. To be honest. Oh, okay. I don't even know what that means, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I think she's trying to pimp you out. Oh, no, she's such a lovely old lady. She would never do that, I don't reckon. Would you be okay with that, being a hooker? Oh, no. oh. Is it like a hooker, like a prostitute? Yeah. Oh, no, I could never do that. I can't do anything like that. No, nothing illegal like that. Because it's illegal. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, mate, I'd much rather be in a plutonic relationship rather than something that involved money. Oh, okay. But what if they paid you a lot of money, you know? Oh, well, I'm not in love for the money, Leah, I'll be honest. If I was, I don't think I'd be working at Frigg's. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. We do work for free. Thanks for reminding me. No problem, mate. Happy to remind you. You let me know if you ever need reminding again. Okay. <laughs> Do I get access to the Mare Park House now? I feel all prepared for once in a while, Flea. I've been, I've been prepping away for the 30 minutes or so before I opened up. That's good. I, I prepped a little bit for you. It was pretty busy oh, this morning. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, was it busy, was it? Was there uh, yeah. any... Uh, any unfortunate situations, or was everything okay? No, everything was fine. No shootings or anything. Oh, fantastic. Oh, look at that, we got a lovely customer. Oh, Hi, how can I help hey. you? Oh, can... What what drinks do you have? Do you have special drinks? Mm, we have fountain drinks, but they, they're quite filling, though. They're not like the, oh. the ones at Senior Buns. 
Mm, okay. Um, I'll take a glizzy too. Um, why do you have glizzy wine? We have glizzies, and then you can choose your topping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I want. I want. We're gonna have pickles, kimchi, sliced radish, tomato, cheese, ketchup. She's gonna get the one kind of glizzy oh, I always sell. Oh, I want two of them. Two? Okay, any drinks? Um, no. Okay, go ahead and swipe. Want me to pass them to you, Leah? Uh, yes, please. Here you go, mate. It's the two glizzos. Fantastic. Oh, I think you made a great choice with the glizzies there, mate. It's a great choice. Yeah. Oh, I hope you. I think you'll really enjoy them. Mm. There you go. Thank you. Welcome. Mm. Hello, I can help you. I'd like to try. Oh, oh she's going around. She's just tasting and everything. Fantastic. Yogurt. Thing. I think she wants a, a specialized drink. Oh, because that would make sense. the fountain drinks at Senior Buns are not good at all. So people assume our drinks are like those drinks, but they're actually better. Oh, Leia, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to learn how your brain ticks now. The finest, are the, the drinks actually that. better than Senior Buns, or is that just what you say? No, they actually are. Oh, yeah. All right, fantastic. Okay. Yeah. I mean, listen, one thing I'm honest about is the stomachs will be filled and they'll be nourished. See, Anything else I'm not promising. Yeah, I was going to say, I was a little bit worried yesterday. that I didn't know whether I could believe anything you said at one point, to be honest with you, liar. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, so, you know, you can practice, you know, start off with like a little white lie, you know, if they say, oh, no ketchup, you just put like a couple of dots of ketchup in there, you know, just to like, oh, no. just like get used to it. What, what if they're allergic and they break out in a rest? Oh, the freaking sub sounds. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it. I don't know how to turn it off. I don't know how to do the, um, it's so delayed. If they're allergic, they can go to the hospital. Oh, they can go to... Oh, oh bloody hell. What, 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 I don't want to send Pope to hospital, Leia. I just want them to say a nice... I'll be honest, right. So yesterday, when you left, somebody actually said, the, the way they were chili, dog. And I crumbled and I said, no. Why? I, I, did, I thought in, in my head, I heard your voice in my head saying, Frank, tell them yes. And I, I, the words, I tried to get the words out of my mouth, but I just said, no, we don't do them. But I can make you a glizzy. And then they just walked off and went somewhere else, to be honest. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I never let you down. I did try earlier. I just couldn't do it. It's okay. That's why we're just going to start off like little dots of ketchup and stuff. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. You know, if they say, oh, I, or you can be like, if they say they want ketchup, just don't put in ketchup. Oh, I'll be honest, Lee, I'm starting to think you might be a bad influence, mate. No, no, this is good for you. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. How so? How, how could they possibly benefit my lions of people? Because you're going to make... We don't even make money off of this. Um, you're gonna make the owner lots of money. I'm gonna make Harry and Mr. Lang lots of money. Can you please not yell? Sorry, Mike. We can't Apologies. give we can't give intel to the kebab shop. Oh, let's apologize. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Sorry, liar. You gotta remember, no matter how much they smile in your face, those are the enemies. Oh, but they're always so lovely to me, liar. They're always very nice. They are manipulating you. Oh, do you reckon? Yes. They are enemies. Oh, I'm not sure. Of, oh, I'm not sure. Of, oh, there's Mr. Langley, Mr. Harry. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, boss. Be careful, guys. Be careful. 
Oh God. <gasps> Is that a gun, liar? Yes, we have to be careful. Oh God, I've never, I've never seen a gun that close before. <laughs> Just chill, just, just chill. Just gonna just, just splash, splash some water. <laughs> oh, God. Hey guys, good news. You know, you're gonna get paid today, okay? Finally. Okay. Oh, oh. oh. He fucking won. Fantastic. He's paying me. Oh. Yeah, the Carmela and Nunu arc was so good. That was an AOE conversation. Oh, feel. Feel better now, that's all right. Yeah. Oh, Oof. Hope everybody's all right. Yeah, coast is clear. Oh god, what was that about? I don't know, but we have to stay ready. This is a very dangerous area. To be honest, like, everybody keeps saying this to me, but I've seen nothing but people just being happy that we're open, to be honest. Really? you never gotten shot? No, I've never, I've never been shot. I don't know why, whenever, whenever I say that, everybody's so surprised. Yeah, because a lot of shootings happen here. I've, I've genuinely, I've not even seen or heard one since I've been here. What? Yep, not even oh, seen no, one. It was a war zone just last week. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think I started just after that. Instead of, yeah, I'm not even, I'm not seeing. I keep hearing there's gunfire all the time. It's like, it's like being in the middle of the Vietnamese yes, war. Yes, if you hear a motorcycle nothing, nothing. duck down. Because that motorcycle, motorcycle, yeah, we usually they drive with a motorcycle and they do drive bys with guns. Bloody hell. Who does that? Um, I don't know. Anyone, if they're mad at us, they'll just drive by and shoot us. You see that? I bet, I bet you it's people who found ketchup Thank in the Thank you for shouting out the Discord. Um, no, no, no. They'll, you know, they'll be mad, like, well, I'm going to be honest, it's mostly our competitors. Mostly the competitors? Yeah. But they're all so nice, I don't, I don't understand it. No, they're not. Well, so you reckon those people next door are conspiring against us? Yeah. Oh. Well, the hell, I can't trust anybody. Oh. Okay, it's pretty dead here. All right, I'm gonna leave now because there's not many people here. I'm gonna try Goober Eats. Oh, fantastic! I have. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, uh, they're all they're all switched on. They're all switched on. Okay. So hopefully you get some of you. Okay, okay, I'll see you. Let's go try to I clean to, uh, some nice money. To see you. Nice to see you. Let's try to clean some uh, wash cash. I don't know if Changeng was robbing Goober East drivers though. Let's start with just like 500 wash cash. I just want to try it. Delayed things. <laughs> okay. So like now that we're part of the crew, do we get to know the secrets? I feel like I know everything anyways. 
I was always on their app. Oh my god, sorry about the notifications, they're very delayed. But I just I'm not I'm not technologically savvy. Okay, so maybe we should we do one goober ride, see if we can clean cash, and then we work on moonshine. I'm not going to stream for very long today. Wait, that means Devon didn't get... <laughs> Devon's not in the crew because Devon is not even awake today. So I know that he didn't... Let's call him. Is he around? I don't even know if I called him. No, Diva would have been with him if he was around. Thank you. Thanks for the congrats. Cypress crew. I'm going to just call it Cypress. Even though it's kind of cringe because you're, you're, you're calling your crew after a turf. Oh, they've been trying to buy me in for a week now? <laughs> I don't know. There was a war, though. RIP Jack. I love how Luciano was like, if Jack comes back, I'm like, yeah, of course. In RP, Leah is actually mad at Jack, so she don't like him no more. Not she don't like him, she's just mad that he abandoned, so. Probably not a good idea to bring my light colored car here. Oh, did he? <laughs> <laughs> you chat you chat is trolls chat was saying oh seven i was like you guys stop meta gaming and i was like if you're gonna like fire me why are you want 25k y'all are you fucking trolls bro Uh, let's just see if we can clean $500. Do, do people know, like, when they're, when they're getting bought in? Like, do they know? I know nothing about this crew, so... Oh, okay, okay. I would think to be bought in would be like 100k or something because, but then that would take me like two weeks to get that money. 25k is nothing. It might, it's not nothing, but. I kind of like that I don't know much information about the crew. 
Like, I don't even know, like, the RP history, even from 3.0. So everything is blind, I find out in character. It's, like, um, genuine. It's more fun that way. And your soul? Listen. With, with uh, the lumber union? That was, like, a labor camp. Uh, I think if I can handle the lumber union, I can handle any anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Lang was always like open with Leah with everything, so. I think the only thing I like I, I I don't know who's like in the crew like I've seen people at the warehouse and stuff um, Gigi will like be more open now okay okay I want to. I want to get to know everyone, even though there's like five thousand people. I do want to like personally know everyone, but that will take time. Do we get our own car? Like, can we just drive our own car when we do this? If they give us a car, this is just like screaming, Robbie, Robbie. Why is he- why is his knees bent like this, weirdo? Hi there, I don't think we've crossed paths on time. I'm in charge of Goober. I want to work. We gotta make sure it doesn't fuck up with our- with our- Why can't we work here? We gotta make sure it doesn't fuck up with our... G6. So G6 is yellow, and this is- okay, we're fine. I just wanna make sure that I want to see if I can, how how it is when I clean money. There's so many people. That's why I was surprised Lang only wanted 16 rooms. He should have got more rooms. But that's okay, not everybody has illegal stuff. Franks! I have one for Franks. Only one person is working Goober. It must not be that much money. Head to Booth Plaza. Okay, let's go to Franks. Yeah, yeah, people can share storages in room. This house, will I get keys to that one? You might not yet. Hmm. So we gotta go to Frank's and then we gotta um, drop it off and see if this motherfucker takes my clean money. I wonder if the new update there's different ways to clean money. I have no idea. Like, I heard there's new ways to clean money other than this. I want, I think the runs, is that still a thing? I don't know. I'll have to find out in character. Are they buying in five people? That's crazy. It's a very big crew. Head to Booth Plaza. 
Do I have to buy this by myself? I think you should uh, wake it up. Swipe in your mid, Alex. I cannot pay. Uh, it doesn't show anything. Sorry, Misha, I'm swiping first. Uh, mm, I could sell you. Do you have any cash on you? Uh, no. Uh, you might uh, have to go Oh yeah, I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. If you've got like three, dude, you can't see it. I can pay you for you if you want. Uh, how much it is? They only have 340. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so just give me 300 and then we'll, then you could. That's fucking annoying. Okay, I'll be back. You can, you can, you can. Okay, we'll buy it. Hopefully it reimburses us. Sorry, Michelle, I'm having some problems, but... <laughs> At least it's not a golden, golden glizzy. Yeah, my PayPal was... PayPal was 69. Uh, yeah, what, what are you doing now? Well, mate, you can't see that now, can you? No, I can. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I mean, it's a good number. It's great. <laughs> cash is a cash, mate. Oh, Got you covered. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's not the number. Appreciate it. Here we go. Yes, yes. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just uh, buying a couple of units here, uh, mister. Oh, they're jumping him. They're jumping. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, do you have anything? Do you want to do anything right now? Or I think Alan's happy that what he's still doing now? using today. Oh there you go, mate. <laughs> I didn't do the side to toss him, mate, because I don't know if the cash for it. Yeah. But here you go. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, that's a good text message. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the photo. Uh, no worries, mate. Hello. Well, it's hello. Like, right, what's, what's the Uber Eats order then? What are we getting? I'm getting a Goober Eats order. It's me, Leah. Yeah, you don't yeah. recognize me out of my no, uniform? No, uh, Le Leah, Leah, that's why I said. What, what's the Uber Eats order? That's why I said it. Oh, oh. It's, uh, oh, do I have to order it here? Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a glizzy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's cheese, tomato, right. radish, pickles, and kimchi. Fantastic. Yeah, got And that. then a sprunk with ice. Fantastic. You go, might I get the sauce for you? Yeah. It's perfect. Big crew yeah, needs more people to you hang out with. Oh, oh, thank you. you, thank you. Thank you. No, right. it's okay. I, it's my first. This is my first um, delivery. So. Let's well, enjoy it. I think you know, yeah, hopefully you make a good bit of money. All right. Thank you. you. We'll see. You take care, uh, mate. No Bye. Oh, did you get a text message from Harry, by the way? Uh, no. What he asked for? Did he ask for your state ID? Uh, uh, no, he never. No, no, no. Just got a text saying paid. Let me check. No, I didn't get a text. Oh bloody hell! Yeah, I've been paid. Oh Jesus! Oh, congratulations! How much did you get? Uh, twenty, twenty grand. You you can get your food. Who are you buy my food? What are you poor? Yeah. Oh. I just spent twenty five k, bro. 25k <gasps> on what? On oh, what? On being a bad bitch. Hey. That's a highly specific Okay, hey. what? What would you Ray. like? Hey. I don't like- Would you like to eat, mate? What am I getting you? I am a bad bitch, thank you. Oh my god. I've met so many bad Stop bitches going. the last couple hey. of days. Uh, hello. Bro, who, who the fuck is I'm this Jamal working. Clone? I'm what up? I, I gotta make this goober delivery. You're not gonna buy my food? What do you wanna order? I don't know, something, anything. I don't care. Can I have a combo? Yes! For Larry. Oh, it's a great name, that is Larry. Right, there you go, what's up there? And I'll get it for you now, Larry. What do you say? So I'll get you food for you now, Larry. I paid oh, for yeah, you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Leo. You're welcome. Um, my number is in the lemon list. It's L I Y A. Text me your name or something. Also, Mr. Larry, as a special treat because Leo paid your bill, I'm going to give you those as well. Because I, I paid for the Mary and I don't really feel like him now. So there you go, mate. Some tight Glorion! Tops. What up? Why are you screaming my name? Come on, mate. Take it oh, Have you talked to GG? Jump him! I get two Jesus combos. fucking Christ! Jump him! Jump him! 
buying money back. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Are you hinting at me at something? I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know if I could tell you. Yes, you can. Yes, tell me, please. Wait, okay. Who do you roll with? Like, who's Mine? your crew? Is Are you in in? Yeah, I'm fully in. You paid 25k? I, Cause I'm in now. You paid twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, to be part of the crew. Wait, why are you running away from me? Why are you running away from me? Yo, Gloria. Why are you running away from me? I'm literally on the phone with her right now, Larry. Okay. Uh, it looks good on you. Congrats bro. on your new family member. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you. It's nice to get a compliment and not get choked out for once. Yeah. You're acting like I got I got skin. I'm holding it down. I love you. I'm happy for you. Oh, I'm happy. You, look at me jumping up and down. I'm happy. Oh, okay, thank you. Bye. Out. I have a Goober ride. Goober, Goober everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that 10k, that was probably like when people were making $2 an hour. Oh, okay. Let's mark the customer. All the way near the cash exchange at Jamestown. I wonder if they're gonna pay me less because I took long. Yeah, those that. Yeah, that that time I remember we had like twenty five people bust their ass, grind for like two weeks, just to buy um, a trailer. <laughs> we were so poor. We were like going crazy when we get like we were doing goober goober still driving for like twenty thirty dollars. I think it's more of a tradition thing because to be honest, like <laughs> I feel like I don't know. I don't. I don't care about money maybe it's i should care more if i don't i just give stuff i don't care what did a rouge twat if you're wondering where everyone is let me tell you fishing poppy oh fishing party it's just pixel money but in rp you have to value it, right? Because we're RPing. But, uh... Apparently it's scuffed, and they, if you have extra food, they will steal it from you. So we gotta make sure that... We gotta make sure home lady does not take our food. Let's put seeds in here. Yeah. Well, we're committed, right? I mean... I'm committed as long as they're committed. My old leader abandoned me. But I don't think they will ever abandon me, so... Hey, bitch. Hi there. <gasps> she cleaned two hundred dollars. That's pretty good. We could clean a lot of money. Yeah. You can probably... And it's safe too, you don't get robbed, right? 
until people know like figure out the drop off spots but if people don't figure out the drop off spots you can like for a good two months clean money safely you don't have to be, get robbed you don't have to get anything RIP to those big gangs who are hogging the money cleaning business Yeah, like right now, I, when I do moonshine, I can just sell my moonshine and clean my own money. Thank God. I don't have to sell it to somebody. Oh, but there's probably like a system, right? I know there's a system with the crew. So I should just give them my dirty cash. Because you have to like give the money to the crew or something. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I have to ask Gigi and ask everybody. I think it's time we, we, we can go to the sewers now. Yeah, I'll ask. Um, I'll just keep the rolled bills and I'll just give it to them when they and then they can tell me how it works. How much did I get paid? I don't even know. Okay. I got $500. Bro, this is low-key good money. You clean money and you make good money. That was like a two-minute delivery. I'm just going to put these seeds down here. Yeah, one job that that was like if I if I focused, I could have done that in like 5 minutes. Um So you can easily make a few thousand dollars an hour. The regular Goober driver runs? It's probably more money now. It should be, right? Because the economy is different. Oh, was it 500 minus the amount I made? Okay. I mean, it's still good money for a two minute run, but um, I think the main thing is that you can clean cash safely. The fuck is wrong with people driving? Uh, Why is this lady still marked for me? I gave her her shit. It's kind of scuffed. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's go to the bank. So we can buy a dis uh, moonshine distillery. No thanks. We're gonna sign out. Oh shit. Let's see if we can get to get into G6 real quick before it's nighttime. I need to check my ATM. My ATM depletes. The fuck? What is going on?
We'll do a quick moonshine thing, and then I think I'm going to take the day off today, guys. I've been working so hard. Please don't tell me I have to go refill my ATMs. I don't want to go up north again. Okay, we're good, kind of. I'll go refill it later. I have like an hour. Thank you, Voss. I'm happy too. Good night, Nick. I'm excited for the future and seeing what happens. Time to go to the sewers. Okay. Why is it so laggy? We'll buy the distillery and then we'll call it. This is the best um, parking spot. It's hidden. And then... Should not have my G6 tag on me. Tony, uh, the in the the old man, Tony. No, I don't have his number. I've only worked with him. Um, I can't look at the trunk anymore. I've only worked with him in Frank's one time. I don't have my G6 tag on me. Let's put it in the trash. my food! I eat the food! I'm going to the sewers! Okay, now we can go.
Oh, we do? I don't... Does he come around a lot? I don't see him much. I've only saw him... Um... A few times. We had someone... I have a friend named Rocco, who's part of, like, my old gang. Um, he, um... Let's see if my distilleries are still there. He reminds me so much of Anthony Z. I thought he was Anthony Z for like two weeks while he was like a hang around for us. I thought he was like Anthony Z on a different character. The court will be hearing an appeal for Clark Mason. Isn't that Flash? Oh, we got court. We got court. Let's go. Get leave this. Okay, let's check if our distilleries are here. Oh, fuck. Okay, we, let's get a distillery and then we'll go to court. We gotta buy one. Run, bitch, run. If we run through our eyes, it's faster. I love court. I don't know what he did. But he innocent. Wait. We went the wrong way. This was the right way all along. I love court RP. It's so fun. Oh, fuck it, bro. We'll get the distillery later, bro. It's gonna be a long... No, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta get it. We, we gotta get it. I don't want to miss court, but... How is he in Sandy when he has court, bro? What did he do? What didn't he do? <laughs> Hopefully we don't get lost here, bro. Lang told me to go take a shower, and I'm here in the sewers. We didn't even take a shower. We're gonna show up to court stinky. Welp, no moonshine today. No, I don't think I'm going to be playing cop today. I think um, I'm going to have a short stream and then take the day off. So I can go hard for the rest of the week. <laughs> Lara will get interesting after she's done being a cadet. 
We're gonna get into some shit. I have plans. Oh my god, running so much. Thanks for the follows. We're just trying to put down the distillery and then we're going to go to court, guys. Some court RP. Hopefully it's like not against the cops. It's like uh, another person so they can argue. Like the one with Lang last time and the guy who shot him. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Oh, this guy puts so many distilleries here. I don't know if mine have gone bad yet. These are my distilleries. Oh, I just want to put that there. Someone took my spot. Okay, I guess we're sharing distilleries, motherfucker. Yeah. Just one second. My mom is talking to me. Okay, let's go to court. Oh, it wasn't locked? Or is it scuffed? Oh, it's scuffed. The trash is scuffed! Oh, it's still there, okay. Oh, someone took my... Okay, have fun with my repair kit then. I don't know if the city is scuffed or what, but if someone stole my repair kit and my ID that they can't use, okay. Whatever, floats your boat, bro. Wait, did it tell us what floor? The third floor? Okay. Oh, we gotta change clothes. I think when we take off our helmet, it should be in our pocket. That's how it used to be. Watch me be the first one at court.
What's a good court after outfit? We're not too fancy on this character. Okay, let's go to court. Let's go. It's awfully quiet in here. The hell happened to these locals? Is it third floor? We're on this side, right? Am I really the first person who showed up? This is the second floor or the third floor. Yeah, this is the third floor. I'm really the first person who showed up. That's okay. Literally show up before the friggin' person that's in court. Okay, I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go to the bathroom and come back and hopefully when I come back I'm not just here by myself with a cop. Hello, gentlemen. She just there. His wife just got to her.
They want what, sorry? Isn't that Bobby? He should have my, they should have my number. Okay, well, Copy and Barmine should still have my number. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, sure, I'm more than happy to uh, hand that out, but just keep in mind I won't be able to take calls when I'm doing this case, so. Um, okay, well, I, mean, I don't care if you do, that's fine. It's 420-633-6044. Uh, Lex is over there. Yes, that's right. Just don't You're bring welcome. attention to us. All right, crackhead. You ready for the number? You're so stupid. You know that? You're so stupid. The whole point of you going to get the number was so she doesn't know who we are. And you just told her who we are. How do you know that? We're yeah, you know we have I a heard warrant? her yelling. Why is Carmine here? Really Bobby over here. Don't give a shit, right? <sighs> I mean, I guess you're I right. I literally walked in here with someone who killed someone. And it, it didn't, didn't care? No. <laughs> Crew doing it, bank. All right, could you, could you, uh, could you send it to me? Oh, here's my number. With Speedy here? I'll, I'll go yeah, poke. I'll... I don't have your number. I'll send Yellow it Yellow pages. Yeah. Slex is over there, Carmine. Yeah. I'm on there. Wait, what is this case about? I have no idea. Why you don't know what the case? What you doing here? You don't know what the what case you, is what about. What you even doing here then? I'm here to wash the tea. What you mean? Tea? This what? is the most lukewarm, stale, no flavor, flavorless tea ever. Clearly, Why? no one is here. Hey, all the tea yeah, was front row seats to nothing. 47 inch? Oh my god. How's my cop character doing? Still learning, still learning. But I have plans for my cop character. Oh, the judge is here. Hi. What can I do for you? I don't even know who Clark Mason is. Oh, I know him. Okay. What's he like? All right. He's a really nice guy. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I don't think he would do anything wrong. So. Wait, I wonder what they think he's done. No idea. <laughs> you look a lot more shrimpy and like shriveled up than normal. I'm eating Popeyes. Uh, no one is here, not even including like, like, gave you, like the other side. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not necessary. That's not a requirement for an expungement. Uh, here's the problem, though. You currently have a warrant for your arrest. Is this even the right I mean, place? I'm just saying, like, if you have a warrant, I'd probably just come back later. Maybe? Um, it doesn't expire for another long <coughs> days, so... Uh, you can get an expungement then, but it's gonna cost you, like, half a million dollars, so... If you want it to be any reasonable wow. price, you'd have to wait a month. I, 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 30 days crime free. You have a warrant. Yeah, but that is, uh... Innocent you until and I proven both guilty, know you're gonna get Iran. caught for that warrant. So. I plan on turning myself in when the officer is around to go to a bench trial. Oh, Tommy. okay. Tommy, look at me and listen for a second, okay? You Jesus to Christ. <sighs> Clark, He's probably not gonna I don't know what you're accused of, but I know you're innocent. Thank you. True. I think he sees us. I think Slack sees Means us. You're not innocent, but. I don't fucking I don't think he would know who you were. I can't say that. I am gonna get. I mean, like, you did have the gun on you. You should probably get out just to be safe, right? 
I mean, if you, if you get a rest, you know, <laughs> is it just slacks and then they'll fuck up your expungements, right? Because the, the number of days they were just talking about. Uh, just take a seat. Well, 30 days? Yeah, yeah. I mean, my, my thing's different. I need to get like one felony removed. Yeah, there's no, there's, you won't. There's no gotcha. Like, if you get caught by the cop right now, doesn't it fuck it over? Yep. Yes. I mean, it doesn't matter. The warrant, the warrant fucked it over. The warrant, like Bobby is right now. The warrant fucked it up anyway. Oh, even if it's just there. Yeah. It sucks. What do you think about Popeye's chicken? Oh fuck yeah, dude. Popeye's pretty good. Well, you are clearly alive and talking. You did not. Fuck you, Clark. I'm here to support. It was good talking to you. Um, I will Fuck talk you, to you, Clark. Um, Looking at that man makes me think that he has Benjamin Button's disease, but he's like far beyond fucked up. <laughs> I swear. Why do you look like a straight Freddie Mercury? I, he, he looks like the human name, form of Freddy Krueger. Oh, they are Dude, cooking you. Like I'm not sure. No, they're cooking your body. Cooking. I doubt it. What about the guy to the uh? What about the guy, check, uh, guy to the left? Goldie, Goldie, Goldie. Do you know if Peters will be here? He just threw one of these slacks on the way to courthouse. I'm so lost. Well, Bobby, your face makes him confused and lost. What about what about oh the guy God. to the left of me? What does he look like? The that the guy in the middle in the white shirt looks like a straight Freddie Mercury. Me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. What? A... Yeah, but Freddie Mercury uh, is you know, hot you, though. You know you got you the look like someone who's been left in the like... oven a bit too long. Come on, you got the mustache for us. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying, man. Like, you, you, yeah, that mustache, mustache is too big. That's the wrong mustache. Motherfucker, I, I don't give a shit. Like a vehicular accident on the so way you're there. telling me that that guy, you know, Freddie Mercury fucked a lot. So you're telling no, me the, this guy say, fucks a lot, and I don't fuck at all. So therefore, you see what I'm doing here? Yeah, but I'm gonna be no, honest. No. With you. When I met you, as you, uh, you did not look like Freddie Mercury. They're saying that I fuck. They are saying no. that I fuck. No, I'm saying that he fucks when he's in your body, but when you're in your body, you don't fuck. Yeah, you're just a fucking loser is what you are. What the fuck? Carmine, Carmine is- I thought the Carmine was the other one. I definitely do. I was on like a 30 minute date with Carmella. I mean, we didn't do anything, but it was- We didn't do anything, he just ended with us trying to kill each other. I believe he's just getting punched up, your honor. Okay, alright. We didn't even do anything. She said she looked at my face and she said, "Ew." It looks like she said, "Ew." Dude. It just proves my fucking point, man. Like, what oh, Bobby. Don't call each other by your actual name. Hey, come on, come over here. Charges they're wishing to contest are two counts criminal use of a firearm and one count criminal possession of a firearm class one. It should be mentioned that the prosecution did submit a motion before this session started to dismiss one of those criminal use of a firearm charges. Uh. Uh, that's the correct guess. One of those criminal use of firearm charges. I wish you would speak louder. Was granted. So there is only uh, two charges in contention today, which is one count criminal use of firearm and criminal possession of a firearm class one. Um, do either of you have any pre-trial motions before we begin? None from us, Your Honor. Nice. Uh, if you could have uh, just um, my two officers, Jonas, Maven, Riker. I don't know if they're here. Let me see if they're able to show up or not. Uh, are they just there to What's assist the you with the Just advise your yeah, advise for prosecutors. Okay, yes, they can join, no, but I'm not good to hold up the all. That is, uh, Come on. Sounds good. All right. So uh, let's go to the statement of claim. Uh, on May 14, 2024, Mr. Mason was searched and subsequently arrested. What's your name? It is the belief of the appellants that this Peter. arrest should never have happened. Had the proper Peter. law and procedure been followed, yeah, his name's Peter. Appeal is being, uh, What's your brought name? forward to seek justice. I mean, I'm, I'm Benny, dude. Here I'm Benny Dingle. Uh, nice nice to meet you, Benny. Black, and we have one police report. So ben, uh, yeah, dude, you do. What's your name? Uh, Roman. Nice. I like the cross in your head. Get yeah, but, um, thank you. Since this is an appeal, uh, we are going to right now. Uh, run it sort of like a typical uh, prosecutorial case. So I'm just going to start off with you, Slack. Yeah, we supposed no to be able to hear them because that sure your shit side can. here. So yeah, we're uh, correct. Okay, uh, I'm I'm assuming then that you're just going to 
let them put you on the stand, answer some questions, and let it stand? Or absolutely. Due to the fact this uh, just been a while, and uh, okay. just uh, I'm good with highlighting the evidence and the statements of the officers involved as far as what transpired. Okay. Also, so I just want to highlight to also well, the. Before you do that, since oh. you have no witnesses, what we're gonna do then is, uh, we're going to get ready to move on to the next section. You have a moment of time to highlight some evidence and prepare your closing statement. Um, okay. Okay. Let us go ahead and uh, highlight the evidence that you want and start thinking about a closing, and then we're going to go to the other side. All right, uh, so the evidence I want to highlight, of course, is the pat-down. I'm not too uh, sure. Being the Sometime. photo, frisk, and GSR test. Something about um, guns. Also, I want to highlight the dispatch calls coming in, starting with um, the brandishing, the personal firearm off Orchford Ave, followed by get, a series of shots firearm? fired. Along with the, with the case as well of uh, Clark's Mason's possession the being the firearm found his person, it, coming back to incident uh, elev incident five eight six zero where the firearm was used, where this is a casing and a projectile. Okay, for clarification purposes, the report that you're referencing is a hot charge. Uh, specifically related to this. Correct. Uh, it's a hot gun charge. Correct for the criminal use. Of farm. Okay. All right. Um. So I have a question just with regards to the motion that you made actually before I put them up. When you motioned to remove one criminal use of farm charge, was that from the hot gun charge or was that from this yes. incident? That was from the hot gun charge because um there was a mistake on my end, Your Honor. I need to apologize for that. Where I was supposed to add two incidents, the allergen shooting and the Laporta shooting, which would reflect the two criminal use. And what I should have done is also upgrade those two incidents for him and link them back to this one where okay. I should have charged him with that incident. So I made a mistake on that end. Okay, so the only charges that you're, uh, the prosecution is pushing is for this specific incident and not the Hawkins charge. And, well, and the allergen one as well. So the one kind of criminal use and one kind of possession. The possession comes in from this incident and the criminal use comes in from the allergen incident that I added as an, a piece of okay. evidence. That makes sense. I understand. Okay, all right. Uh, those things that you wanted to highlight have been noted down. Is there anything else that you wanted to, to dangle in front of me before we switch over? Um, it's basically just like uh, yes, uh, the, the two prongs of a Terry Frisk, where uh, a police officer needs reasonable suspicion and uh, the reasonable belief that this person could be armed or dangerous. Okay, I appreciate uh, you reminding me of that. I've been aware of that since uh, about 20 years ago. But no, I'm, I'm just highlighting that as far as um, the case law that was applied here by the officers. I'm, I'm very well aware of the case law. Thank you. Thank you okay. for your service, let's, Your Honor. Of course. So let's go ahead and swap now to the, uh, the appellant side. Uh, I'm going to, to go ahead and call your first witness. Uh, yes, the appellant would call cap uh, not Captain, uh, Senior Deputy Slacks to the sand. Who's this? Sachs, if you would please take the witness stand, I'm going to have you raise your left hand for me. Okay. Uh, is senior deputy, is that correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, senior deputy Sachs, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, Viggy, lest he break into your apartment and gun you down with an M4 in the middle of the night? Yes, I do. All right, very good. Okay, the witness is sworn in. You may go ahead and ask me your questions. Okay, uh, hello. I don't uh, think he's gonna win this case. Slacks. Uh, were you on duty on the 14th of May? I was. Did you respond to any calls in the Orchardville area? I did. What were those calls? Uh, the calls of a brandishing of firearm and shots fired. Uh, was there any more detail given in those calls? I believe there's also shots fired coming from a vehicle, if I'm not mistaken, along with an injured party. And what did you find when you responded to those calls? Uh, I, I believe there was a... I'd have to by reference the report, honestly. It's been, it's been a month, so... If I have to go off memory, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe there was multiple down in bodies in the, in the middle of the road nearby, uh, the, the, the side entrance of the slaughterhouse, along with a motorcycle. And um, that's all I recall seeing. Long, I think three bodies, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Uh, was the defendant one of those people? He was. Uh, you mentioned there were calls of shots from a vehicle. Uh, did you find that vehicle on scene? 
I would have to reference the report. As far as my memory, I don't remember or I don't recall. Uh, who took who took uh, custody of Mr. Mason? That would be me. I was arresting officer. And what did you do when you found him? What was your first step? Obviously, the first thing I want to apply medical. I want to make sure people are okay <clears throat> before doing any police actions. Uh, and did you conduct an investigation on scene? I did. Uh, what was your first step in this investigation? Uh, the first step was I patted him down uh, when I was also applying medical. I felt the bulge. Uh, I felt the imprint of a gun. And then uh, from there, I also performed a GSR test, which came back negative. Uh, just for clarity, which came first, the GSR test or the frisk? Objection, uh, Your Honor. Relevance. Now overruled. If you, ref if you re reference the picture, I've documented my steps being at first first. What crime did you suspect him of? I was conducting an investigation to look uh, for firearms. Uh, wait, and what crime is that, just for, just so we're all clear? A possession. Mm -hmm. uh, is the location of where the 911 <coughs> calls came in documented anywhere? Like I said, I have to reference the report because I don't remember off my top no. of my head. Feel free to reference the report, sir. I don't see it. I just see the dispatch calls where the shots and the brandish it came from. Uh, why did you frisk him first? That's because I was doing medical. So, uh, uh, as you were looking over his wounds, you just happened to feel a, a bulge? Afterwards, when I was um, packing his wounds, yes. Why didn't you perform a GSR test first? Uh, because, like I said, I was uh, worried about his condition, of his uh, medical condition, so that's the reason why I went with a frisk. How would a frisk help his medical condition? Objection, Your Honor. Argumentative and already asked and answered. He's asked like seven times why he did it, and he's just beating a dead horse at this point. Do you have a rebuttal? Uh, I guess I'm just not sure what Slax is saying in regards to the reason for the frisk was because he needed medical. And maybe I'm not understanding. I don't see how those two are correlated. Like I exp okay. Okay. hold on, no, hold on, Slacks. Anything, Slacks. Okay, uh, I'll allow you one more rebuttal, uh, Peters. And then I'm gonna yeah. make it uh, I mean, we're, we're here to prove. Uh, I, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, give me a second to collect my thoughts, Your Honor. Yeah, take your time. Let him collect his thoughts. Let's see. Uh, we're here to uh. Let the courts decide whether Clark Mason is uh, innocent or guilty at this time. Um, we have an individual who is bleeding out, and uh, an officer came up and followed procedure the best to his ability. We're not here to argue what our SOPs are. Okay. Uh, I think you definitely could have done better than that, but that's okay. Um, give me a second. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I'm going to overrule the, the the objection, but I will say this, Counselor, if you could please be more specific with your questioning. Um, yes. And uh, Slacks, if you could be more direct in your response. Yeah, yeah, I can, um, I can explain actually, if you, you like. 
Uh, well, I'm not asking the questions. He is, so I'm going to let him ask you a question. Uh, Captain Slacks, how did the frisk uh, correlate with Mr. Mason getting medical? Uh, because, like I said, during the medical, when I was flying, um, had him down and packing his wounds, I felt a bulge. After medical, I went down, patted him down, and that's when I found that's the gun. A bulge. I don't think this case is pretty straightforward. Uh, okay. Like, what's the argument here? <laughs> On the screen, when you pat people down, it literally says "large bulge." That's just no pixel. Do you no, know what else was found with a gun? <clears throat> I would have to reference the report, like I said. So. If you're okay with that, I can tell you. Uh, uh, yeah, if you're able to. I believe so. Um, that would be uh, Vito DiCenzo. He's also fine with a firearm. I see. Captain Slax, do you believe that police should use the least invasive method of investigation before moving to the next one? Uh, Your Your Honor, I hate to object as much as I am, but... Please? You've only objected like twice. It's okay. Okay. I, I mean, it, it, this is... A, this is I, not I mean, maybe you can rephrase, but he's, he's... This is the definition of calling for speculation. Is that your official objection? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have a rebuttal, Counselor? Uh, I don't think it's speculation to ask uh, a member of the police how he thinks the police should act. Well, I, my rebuttal would be thinking how they should act versus how they act in the field is literally asking him to speculate how he thinks that he should I act. Can, I can rephrase. Sure, if you would, please. Uh, Stacks, do please take the least in invasive method of investigation before moving to the next? Could you elaborate? Because that's a broad terminology you're throwing in my face. Throwing here. At uh, least invasive meaning uh, doing as little to violate someone's rights before proceeding to the next, i.e., uh, of course. Phone, you, phone you, you before a search warrant. Well, of course. Idea. You start with reasonable suspicion, you build a probable cause. Uh, yeah. Can you articulate. Why you believe Mr. Mason was armed and dangerous? I can. So, um, can please. So, obviously, uh, a, a crime being committed. Uh, obviously, him being on scene of a brandishing and shots fired. That's one. Him being in a also what we suspect to be uh, a gang turf is two. And the fact is, um, him going to be also provided with medical and transportation in the hospital. We uh, have everybody down. We'll do so. For Your Honor, can, I, can I object to the uh, part about gang turf? No evidence has been submitted to substantiate that. I, I mean, you can object to it. I'm just going to treat that as an, his opinion. I don't see anything here that substantiates his gang turf either. So, I mean, uh, okay. you can't use it in court. This judge is biased. Uh, Captain Sachs, is there any evidence to prove Mr. Mason was found anywhere near the 911 calls? To my knowledge, he was near the calls that came in through dispatch in regards to brandishing and shots fired. If one, uh, Captain Sachs, if someone is shooting a gun, would they have to brandish it first? One more time, can you ask it? If, the first if, part. If, if someone was shooting a gun, would they have to brandish it first? Well, I mean, yes, of course. Um, I mean, that's how the gun comes out, right? Uh, 
And uh, I don't, I, if I've asked this, uh, then uh, feel free to object. But uh, what was the result of Mr. Mason's GSR test? Negative. No further question. Okay. Uh, Peter, is he going to do some cross, uh, questions for Cross? Uh, y yes, Your Honor. Okay. If you would please come up here. Uh, okay. How you doing today, Slacks? I'm all right. Good, good. Okay, do me a favor. Um, where did we? Uh, can Can you list for me the uh, the calls, the nine one one dispatch calls that came in? Uh, list the call or list location? Like the locations of the calls that came in that was submitted with evidence. Is it okay if I reference uh, the, the report because I don't remember by heart? Um, if you do reference the report, you have to uh, point to specific pieces of evidence that are in this report. Yes. Yes, in this report. Yes, you can the, do that. There's a, uh, so there's a, in the pictures, there's something that uh, should have a list of the dispatch calls that came in. I see that, yes. Dispatch calls. Location where Brandishon came in, which was Orchard Ave. The guns uh, shots from a vehicle, Orchard Ave and our Rancho Boulevard. Shots fired on Rancho Boulevard and Orchard Ave. Again, shots fired on Rancho Boulevard. I'm gonna be honest. Ave Boulevard, followed by a 47 Orchard This Ave case is not that Rancho interesting. Uh, where, where, uh, where was Clark Mason found? Near that 47 dispatch call. Okay. So uh, how, many, how many calls came in from that area? At least five. Okay. What gave you the probable or probable cause to uh, actually? Can you can you just just for the sake of the courts? Can you uh, define probable cause, or or tell me the difference between probable cause and re reasonable suspicion? Sure. Okay, I'm uh, not going to entertain this question. Okay. Yes. Okay. And at this point, uh, what what what? <laughs> I want to say what again, but I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I mean, you can ask your question. Uh, no, I did. What procedures did you take uh, that, that followed in line with probable cause to... Uh, uh, He's nervous. I, actually, hold on. What, what gave you the right to detain Clark Mason? Uh, reasonable suspicion that crime is about to be committed or committed. Okay, and what was the, uh, what was the reasonable suspicion that then got him uh, taken down to uh, the office uh, followed by the pat down from which where the gun was found which gave me the probable cause because he's not have a weapon license okay and just to clarify he did have a uh, firearm on him correct correct okay do we get calls from every single brandishing call that do we get calls from every single crime that happens in this fucking city excuse me in the city objection speculation it's I mean, I don't. Uh, that's not speculation at all, Your Honor. That's. Can you can you rebut? Uh, I actually. Uh, I mean, he's asking Slacks to have knowledge of every crime that's committed and whether or not it's called in. If Slacks doesn't know if every crime is called, like. I, I mean, my rebuttal would be that he he basically brought up the fact that you have to get a brandishing call at first, which is kind of a a weird question to start off with, and I know for a fact that I've personally. Have seen crimes committed that have not been called into dispatch, so that would be my rebuttal, Your Honor. Okay, um, I'm I'm gonna sustain it purely on the the fact that I don't think it's possible for Slacks to possibly know if every single crime in the city is called in, and I think the question itself is. Well, I'm not saying every so. single crime. I'm just. So have I'm, you ever? I'm gonna sustain that. You can ask another question. You can rephrase that one. Have you, you ever? Have you ever witnessed a crime that wasn't called in to 911 dispatch? All the time. All right, guys. Um, I'm bored now. <laughs> I'm going to end stream here. I'm going to go to bed. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I just need a day off. So we will... Maybe I'll chill here, but just offline. Just eat and chill a little bit and then go to bed. Um, we'll stream Leah and then we'll stream Cop tomorrow. I'm not going to do Cop today. Thanks for watching. Today was 